so these skills we are going to discuss what you have to develop consistency or my dear students you are having intensity three hours per day and five days a week this is consistency but now what is intensity that i had the intensity i learned the with intensity are bhai boon sagar bharta hai drop by drop will fill the sea don't go for that dopamine type of motivation what is the difference between read understand and learn hello gw soldiers welcome again in this very important session for your gate preparation so here we go with some very important strategy for gate 2025 and gate 2026 exam so as you know that gate 2025 aspirants have only one year and the students which are college going students who are targeted gate 2026 they have around two years of the time for the preparation of your exam so as you know the gate exam needs some aptitude it needs some mind skill to apply it needs the quality of application in the questions the ability to solve numericals so are these techniques are already there in the toppers minds are they or they develop these skills with time so my dear students as you know that the toppers of gate exam never always come from iit and nit yes my dear students this is a myth that toppers of gate exam comes from iit and nit they can come from any private college they can come from any state government college even they can come from that college whose name you have never heard because if you have developed that aptitude that aptitude in your personality in your skills you can definitely crack gate with a very good rank with a top rank so these skills we are going to discuss what you have to develop to score better in the gate exam and my dear students these skills need to develop before starting the preparation if you are trying to develop these skills during the preparation then it will create a lot of nuisance in the preparation and definitely you will not do good in your gate exam so before starting the preparation these quality need to do need to be developed if you have not developed those qualities you will not have interest in studying you will not have interest in learning and if you have developed these qualities you will have good interest in learning you have good interest in solving questions and you will definitely get good ranks so this is the main thing which toppers have they good good rank they got they get good rank and the the students who are not getting good, uh, good rank they lack these qualities so starting with a very first thing the starting with the very first thing which you need to develop before the preparation that is whether you are having whether my dear students you are having consistency or my dear students you are having intensity whether you are having consistency or you have you have intensity first you have to decide if you are having consistent consistency this is very good you need to keep on what consistency means like i am studying 2 hours a day or i am studying 3 hours a day i can study i can study 3 hours in i can study 3 hours in 5 days a week i can study 3 hours in 5 days a week or i can study i can study 10 hours continuously in 5 weeks suppose i am studying 10 hours in first week if i am i am talking about weekly i can study 3 hours per day and 5 days a week this is consistency if i am talking about weekly in week 1 i have studied 10 hours in week 2 i have studied 10 hours in week 3 i have studied 10 hours in week four i have studied 10 hours in week five i have studied 10 hours this is consistency my dear friend consistency is not you are studying daily consistency is that thing you are doing some sort of work almost equally weekly or almost equally monthly if you are not studying daily no issue but if you are studying similar pattern weekly if you are studying in a similar pattern weekly this is also consistency not now what is intensity intensity is that that you have motivated motivated with some lecture you have motivated with some uh, song you are motivated with anything or you have you have seen that your neighbor has got very good rank he has topped in the gate exam now you got intensity you will study 20 hours in a first week now after the first week your energy will get drained your motivation will get drained and you will study only 10 hours in the 
second week now you have studied only two hours in the third week now four week gone fifth week gone and the weeks have gone exam has come just one week before exam you will know that i had the intensity i learned with intensity but i have not got good rank why because you have only studied 20 plus 10 plus 2 32 hours in five weeks here you have studied 50 hours in the five weeks so what is the difference between intensity and and consistency consistency is that you read less hours you learn less hours you study less hours in a week but constantly if you are doing anything constantly it is a saying it is a saying drop by drop will fill the sea Are bhai boon sagar bharta hai drop by drop will fill the sea so if you are if you are studying drop by drop it will fill your sea if you fill your sea of knowledge and you will get good rank so adopt consistency adopt consistency and avoid intensity avoid intensity and what happens if suppose one lakh students are preparing for gate for an year if one lakh students are preparing for gate for an year so around 95000 student or even more than that will have will have intensity not consistency so my dear friend start your motivation with your inner peace start motivation with your inner knowledge with your inner motivation don't go for that dopamine type of motivation so so take your time sit calm do meditation and develop your consistency before starting preparation if you have not developed this uh, consistency during your preparation at the end of your preparation you will get to know that you have not prepared well again this type of mind again this type of mind will be in front of you if you want to make this type of mind before exam that yes i am well prepared then you have to you have to you have to develop your consistency this will be the first thing this will be the first quality you need to develop for preparing the exam and one or two year before appearing the exam the next thing which you have to develop the next thing which you have to develop is the is the is the common area is the common area between is the common area between understanding learning and reading you have to develop you have to make a common area between what between reading understanding and learning if you are only reading if you are only reading definitely that is the initial steps of of learning anything if you are only reading that is the initial step of learning and understanding anything reading is the first step but only reading will not take you to the good ranks definitely it can crack gate you can crack gate on by only reading by only reading the formula by only reading the theories you can you can uh, you can copy and paste the same thing in the exam you can tick the options by only reading but you will not get good ranks you will not get good marks after reading you have to understand you have to understand the thing what is the concept after reading you have to understand the concept when you have read the thing you have understand the thing you have completed the initial step of understanding if you are reading with understanding that is the initial step of understanding if you are reading and understanding that is the initial step of understanding so first read and then understand that and then when you have understand something then you have to learn that what is the difference between read understand and learn just by mugging up the things is reading just by my dear friends just by mugging up the things is reading but after mugging up you have to mug up definitely for any exam you have to mug up a very little thing you have to mug up but after mugging you need to understand what you have to mug up and then you have to revise the things you have to do the numericals you have to do the applications then you will come to the learning when you have developed the learning then learning leads to the deeper understanding first time understanding you will forget human mind is like that that movie type uh, the movie name is gajni so there was a hero who generally forgets the things after 15 minutes the similar happened with the students you are mugging up the things you have understood also the thing 
but you will definitely forget these things after 15 hours or 15 days definitely you will forget these things so to develop that deeper understanding you have to revise you have to apply the concept you have to do the numericals then you will see that you have got the deeper understanding you have got the deeper remembrance of the things otherwise you will forget so reading understanding learning reading and learning will go parallel reading and understanding will go parallel understanding and learning go parallel how you read something then understand that thing then revise next day then you read something the next day understand something the next day and revise it to the other next day so reading understanding and learning should go parallel read something understand on the same day and revise in the next day so you have to read everything every topic the uh, in a day and again learn and understand in the next day so combination of these things will give you the will give you the complete knowledge acquisition you have to develop this the you have to develop this common area my dear friends you have to develop this common area reading the things on the day understanding in the same day by making the notes by uh, remembering the things by asking your doubts you have to understand the thing whenever teacher is teaching teaching something you are reading the things you are asking the doubt you are understanding you are making the notes you are understanding next day you are repeating that thing revising that thing you are applying the numericals you are applying the concept that is learning combine those things and you will get the complete knowledge okay this this is the second thing you have to develop and the last thing which generally the students do not do this thing my dear friends students generally don't do and they always complain that sir i have got the concept i have done the numericals even then i am not getting good rank even then i am not getting good marks so what is the problem the problem is that knowledge always increases by sharing knowledge is the only thing which will be increasing if you share it so whenever you have gone through a concept you have whenever you have read some concept whenever you have applied some concept you have whenever you have done the numericals discuss it with it with your friends your friends will tell that if there is a variation in the numerical what will happen if there is a variation in the concept what will happen you can discuss with your friends definitely you will have some doubts when you are discussing with your friends you can ask that doubt to your teacher your moral knowledge will increase exponentially if you are discussing the concept in with your group i'm not talking about group studying i'm not talking about my dear friend listen carefully i'm not talking about group study i'm not talking about that group study will have certain advantages it will also have certain disadvantages so i'm not going deep beyond that i'm just saying that whatever you have read just whenever you are uh, moving around with your friends just whenever you are sitting with your friends you are having tea with your friends just discuss some concept like sir i have learned i have learned that the atmosphere has certain layers atmosphere has certain layers okay troposphere ionosphere stratosphere multiple layers are there there are the qualities of multiple layers discuss with your friends you will get your knowledge you will have some doubts you will ask those doubts with your friends suppose in aptitude i have discussed something suppose in mathematics i have discussed something suppose in environment i have discussed something okay so if we, if i have discussed something with my uh, with my friends so that will lead to a knowledge increment in exponential way and obviously you will have certain doubts ask those doubts with your teacher you will get a lot of knowledge in that so please my dear friends develop these three qualities before starting preparation it will help a lot during your preparation i'm again saying it will develop a lot in your preparation and i will end my session by saying some sentences or some words saying some words i will end my session that in life in life nothing is permanent nothing is permanent something is exponential nothing is permanent something is exponential but everything is sinusoidal but everything is sinusoidal life goes up down goes up down so whenever you are down make uh, make chances make efforts to make it up whenever you are up don't hesitate to use that situation for your benefit so always remember that life is sinusoidal so go with the flow go with the uh, opportunities go with your uh, uh, go with uh, improving yourself and we will meet in the next session thank you everyone thank you jw soldiers we will meet in the next session till then jai hind